Hi, I'm Roger Dooley. What follows is a two-minute segment of a longer podcast interview with the one and only Tom Peters. Tom created a list of 27 number one priorities for leaders and chose one to be the number one number one. I think his choice will surprise you. That's a great segue, Tom, into your uh, 27 number ones because well, you've got this great document, 27 different areas that uh, you have a number one priority in. And uh, interestingly enough, you have, uh, much like in the Lord of the Rings, there was one ring to rule them all. You have one number one to rule them all, and that's training. Now, th I would not have guessed that. If you would have given me a, a list of, you know, one-liners about the 27, I doubt if training would have been in my top three. Uh, explain why uh, it is your number one rule among all the number ones. And we got an hour. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, I would quote, which is always easy, Richard Branson. And one of the saddest one-liners in business is if you train them, they'll leave. And Branson's one-liner is train them well enough so that they can leave, treat them well enough so that they won't want to leave. And, you know, that's... Um, some serious, and there's a lot of stuff like this around, some serious Oxford folks um, wrote a piece or a book and it said that uh, forgetting the dislocations going on now, which are just earth shaking, which said 50% of white collar jobs are at threat to automation, meaning mainly AI when it's white collar jobs over the course of the next 20 years. And what that says to me in part is, and I said this in different terms before, anybody who goes to work for you for 90 days on a project or nine years should be better prepared for tomorrow when they leave than when they arrive. Uh, plus effective training is, you know, you can spell it in five letters, with a break between the first and the first four and the next four, effective training is called I care. And effective training again, like the line I quoted from John DeJulius who said your customers will never be any happier than your employees. Um, I just think that learning and growing is the essence of David Brooks's eulogy virtues. It is the essence of effective performance it is the essence of effective teams. Roger here. You can find the show notes for this episode, including links to Tom's two new manifestos, on my website linked below the video. You can find my full conversation with Tom there in both audio and video formats, as well as on Apple, Spotify, Google, and all the normal audio podcast outlets. Thanks for tuning in.